What did the Chololtecas do these tunnels for? Many expect an answer related to ritual questions along the 280 meters of illuminated tunnel that reveals intriguing passages that go into the heart of the pyramid. For most visitors, it is a surprise to learn that the tunnels were excavated by local inhabitants, but not under the command of an ancient chieftain to perform mysterious ceremonies, but during the 20th century, led by archaeologists who sought to understand the history of the monument of largest volume of the American continent, the Great Pyramid of Cholula. This huge platform, nicknamed El Cerrito, the Little Hill, by the locals, reached in its last stage almost 400 meters per side and just over 60 meters high, so even in modern times, penetrating its entrails was a labor of titans. Like many pyramids of Mesoamerica, that of Cholula was not created in a single event, but through several overlays. The pyramids, artificial mountains that imitated those of nature, were platforms to hold temples at the top. Its elaboration, its shape, its size, constituted a material manifestation of the power of the rulers. Therefore, the relevant political or ideological changes used to be accompanied by the erection of new pyramids that were built on top of the previous ones, using them as part of their landfill. This had two beneficial results. On the one hand, a major monument was achieved with considerable savings in the investment of materials. At the same time, when covering the previous building with the new one, it appropriated the sacredness of the old construction, but also hid it forever and replaced it with the one that expressed the will of the current ruler. In 1521, when the Spaniards arrived, the Great Pyramid looked like a natural hill. Abandoned for centuries, its covering had been dismantled and the vegetation left to flourish on it. But Tlachihualtepelt, the name in Nahuatl with which it was known and which means hill made by hand, indicates that the inhabitants knew well that it was not an ordinary elevation of the land, but an archaic and venerable human work on whose summit they were still doing sacrifices to ask for rain. But when and how it would have been erected were unknowns that would remain hidden for hundreds of years. In the third decade of the 20th century, several sections of the pyramid's internal architecture stood out on its sides, having been cut by the roads that connected Puebla and Cholula. These enigmatic walls that barely partially emerged were a tempting invitation to explore the monument, but the massive Tlachi wall tepetl was a huge challenge for traditional excavation techniques. Consequently, by 1931, Archaeologist Ignacio Marquina initiated the investigation by resorting to a novel strategy that had been used in Teotihuacan's Pyramid of the Sun, tunnel drilling. The compaction of the earthwork allowed that, through galleries with an angular roof that effectively distributed the load, the fronts of the superimposed structures were found, and their contours were followed in search of the next. By 1971, at the end of the project, more than 10 kilometers of tunnels have been constructed in the interior of the pyramid. Planning to dig that underground labyrinth required a masterful display of talent and skill, and its execution was a colossal job. However, although it was shown that the Great Pyramid contained various substructures, the complexity of these were unexpected, as the exploration bumped into a tangle of walls of dozens of buildings. Given the impossibility of following the perimeter of each building, it was decided to expose parts of the contours of the major constructions, which led to the conclusion that there were five overlapping stages. As the amount of data proved overwhelming, and in those times it would have required years of manual calculation and drawing work to correlate with each other, Marquina's solution was to create summary models of the development of the Tlashi Waltepelt based more on general sketches than on plans. Logistically, it was the most viable alternative, but it involved the extreme simplification of one of the most complex architectural sequences in Mesoamerica. <laughs>